Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, we have an impromptu boxing today. Let's just get it going. Let's just get it going. So, here it is. Sorry, should I? Maybe I should turn off my ring light. Um, hmm. No, it's fine. So, you see this like glare that's from my ring light. I'm very sorry about that. So, I recently went to Vegas this weekend uh, just for a kind of like an impromptu trip. And I got a little bit intoxicated and I ended up buying a bag that was actually i don't believe i put this in on my luxury wish list in the very beginning of the year i did post a luxury wish list if you guys haven't seen that um i'll link it somewhere over here but this bag wasn't in my wish list but it was in my mental wish list that i just kept looking at kept looking at so just a quick little backstory and then i'll, I'll unbox it and then i'll talk more about it so if you guys want to just check out after the unboxing that's totally okay so initially i wanted to get this in a different color but then okay you know what we're just gonna unbox it i'm sorry it's just it let's just do it okay so this is actually my first bottega veneta bag period i do have a bottega veneta card holder and i have purchased bottega veneta before but like usually for other people but this is actually my first first official uh bottega veneta purchase so just for people that are wondering, um, Bottega Veneta doesn't really give you like tissue or anything. It's literally just green on green. A box, the receipt is in this little envelope. And then this bag that I actually, like I get it because it's like Bottega Veneta. But it's very annoying to carry, I'm not going to lie. I remember I, bought, I brought this bag um, after I bought it for, I believe it was like a present or something. And then my Dior essay was like, let me just throw that bag away. <laughs> Not that he's a hater against Bottega Veneta, but he just thinks this is just really obnoxious. So yeah, this is the receipt which we will cover later. So this is actually the first time I'm unboxing it. The last time I saw this bag was when I bought it in the boutique and I tried it on. After that, uh, I honestly haven't opened it because I just wanted to, us to do it together. I don't really think it'll be that luxurious, but we shall see. Okay, ready. Obviously, this is very small. Okay, I don't know what this is. Um, probably a care booklet i'm assuming okay i'm actually surprised that there's even a dust bag in this i didn't expect much so it's just like this okay are you guys ready okay ready <laughs> so i got the mini cassette in the bottega veneta green color i actually probably should look up the actual name for this color but yes look at it look how tiny it is okay so do you see this okay let me just show you how cute so it's like six squares so two on this side six it's a magnetic closure like this there's actually like a little like card slot right here which i actually thought was super cute i didn't expect that i thought this would just be like a plain thing and then the strap is adjustable as well so if you guys can't tell this is the signature bottega green color the famous you know the padded cassette with the chain on it the green one this is the bag that every 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 single person had so initially let me just talk about it really quick so i initially wanted this bag in kind of the deep foresty green color that was actually the number one color that i wanted i did look at the yellow one for a little bit and then they had this lilac one but like let's be honest i am not i i wouldn't i love lilac but wearability wise i wouldn't wear it especially because i have my mini lady dior and that one is essentially lilac even though it's called pink lotus but the main ones that i was debating between was the forest green one and the yellow one i did like the tan one but i just I want a tan bag and a different bag so i'm just trying to like expand my collection with colors and different designs and stuff like that so uh when i went into the store i don't know if i'm going to post the vlog first or if i'm going to post this unboxing first but at the bottega veneta boutique that i went to they actually only had this in black this color and like their new lemon lime green color uh which is different from the pastel it's like a true lemon lime like if you thought of a lemon lime crayola crayon that was the color of uh that mini cassette uh so they didn't have a lot of options i've tried on this bag before and i actually really really liked it i love the way it looked they do have this in two different leathers they have this so this is the lambskin one and then like i said in the vlog uh you'll see the calfskin one and but the calfskin one is lined with nylon which i didn't want whereas this one is just 100 lambskin so hopefully it can focus so you guys can see that um whereas the other one you'll see in the vlog that it's lined with nylon and i personally didn't really like the way it looked i like the sheen of the bag with the calfskin but the lambskin one just looked 
so i don't know it just looks so nice and so cute initially i went into vegas because i wanted to buy my jade necklace which is on my uh 2022 wish list but the tiffany store across literally the tiffany store was right across Bottega Veneta uh at the win hotels like the wind shops and they didn't have the jade necklace that i wanted i would have had to have walked over to another tiffany store or they would have to send it over to that tiffany and then i would have to wait until tomorrow and when you're intoxicated and you're just me i'm very impatient a lot of the times so i literally told myself and i was like if they don't have the necklace then i'm just gonna go to the bottega veneta store and buy this <laughs> and then that's what happened um so with bottega veneta just like random facts if you guys didn't know it's very similar to fendi where uh you can't return anything so the moment you buy something you can only get store credit back and you have 14 date 14 days to exchange it again just for any of you guys that are wondering or you're thinking about buying something from bottega veneta I heard YSL has the same rule. I've never owned a YSL bag, but people have told me after my Fendi video that YSL is the same thing as well. When you buy something, you can't return it and get your money back. Uh, you're just fully committed and you can only get store credit back. But I could totally still exchange this, so I still have a couple more days left. Yeah, I'm gonna use this for maybe a day or two and see if I'm gonna keep this green color or if I'm gonna message my Bottega Veneta SA and if she can exchange it for me for a different color but i feel like i'm gonna stick with this because the main reason is that one uh so you guys can check out if you want to i'm just gonna be rambling so i've really been wanting a bottega veneta piece i really wanted the pouch i wanted the arco tote but it's just like the arco tote is so similar to my book tote and i definitely do want to add another book tote eventually um or get the on the go so the shape of those two bags are just too similar that i crossed off the arco tote maybe like sometime when i'm like in my 50s maybe i'll get the arco tote but as of right now no i do really really love that bag though the other bag that i really wanted uh well i wanted the like the dumpling pouch but i would never use it like i'm just i'm not rosie huntington like I, i'm just like i don't dress like that i just would never use it i would just want it to want it so then the other bottega veneta bag i wanted was the like the mini version of the pouch that's the crossbody and it has like the interstato leather in it which i thought was super cute um i just really wanted something with the famous like interstato uh leather detailing just because it's so bottega veneta you know what i mean and i didn't like the padded cassette as you guys know i've talked about this the first time i initially wanted the padded cassette and then when i touched it in person it just felt for me not the type of leather that i thought it would be i thought it would be more squidgy like the chanel 19 or even the ysl puffer and it was just it felt very like foamy to me and i didn't like that so then the next one that i actually really liked was just the regular cassette initially when i first saw the regular cassette i didn't like it and then the more that i saw like people use it i touched it in store i actually just really love the texture of this it's just really really soft and i actually have grown to love the look of like the flat um interstato leather but the price tag on the regular size is just a little too much for me and i thought the mini size would be perfect so i get a little bit of a taste of Bottega Veneta without like fully committing to that price and then the other reason why I basically spurged on the green one is because I don't know if I will add another Bottega Veneta piece into my collection that's not an SLG I actually do want to add an SLG into my collection but that is for another time so I just wanted something signature and then this I know Daniel Lee already left Bottega Veneta but yeah it's just like this Bottega Veneta green is just so so signature right it's just it's basically to me like a mini nano speedy why did i say that it's basically like a nano speedy where you get the signature louis vuitton style and design and on top of that like signature louis vuitton is louis vuitton monogram and green this shade of green in particular is signature bottega veneta so yeah that is the thought process of why i bought this let me just try it on for you guys so you guys can see it so this is just how it comes um i totally can't adjust it but i'm just not gonna adjust it right now so this is what it looks like i just think it's so cute i feel like the silhouette of the bag you can't really tell because i'm wearing such an oversized long sleeve but it's really cute i just i think it's so adorable let me know in the comments if you guys would like a what fits i can make a really quick video of just a what fits in this bag if it can fit a card holder but i feel like most people are nearby at least a nordstrom so because they have bottega veneta inside nordstrom's they have bottega veneta i think inside neiman marcus too so you guys have a lot of avenues if you can't get to an actual bottega veneta boutique 
but yeah so this is the bag that i bought during vegas <laughs> If any of you guys own this bag, if any of you guys want this bag, let me know down in the comments what color you guys would want it. Um, oh wait, I didn't tell you guys the price point. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. Let me tell you guys really quick, just those of you that are curious. So I bought this. Oh, actually, I'm stupid. I didn't buy this in the win one. I bought this in the Bellagio Bottega Veneta. My bad. Um, and the tax in the Bellagio Bottega... The tax in Las Vegas is slightly cheaper than it is um, here, so that's why I got it. So uh, the price of this bag is $1,000 even, which is so tragic because they had a price increase I think maybe three to four months ago, and this bag before the price increase was only like $800. I think this was like $825, $850. So it did raise a little bit, but it's still fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, and then so my total with tax was $1,083.75. So I was able to save a little bit with the tax, which is what pushed me to get it as well. But yes, um, let me know in the comments if you guys think I should exchange it for the dark green or if I should just keep signature, signature Bottega Veneta green. See, the other reason too really quick is why I decided to get this color as well is because Prada has this like emerald green re-edition bag, but they only have it for their re-edition 2005. And I'm just crossing my fingers <laughs> that they're going to make it for the mini 2000. And then, so now I'll have a bright green and a forest green which is why because if i got this in the forest green then i wouldn't be able to get the prada one in the emerald green because they would just be too similar so yeah that was actually another reason why i pushed to get this so there's a lot of factors of what made me get this one but yes mm -hmm. alrighty guys so we have come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching my quick little impromptu unboxing um this unboxing was actually supposed to be a tiffany necklace but obviously that didn't happen if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>